Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. In this video, we're going to be doing chapter nine for uh, chapter ten, verse nine, and here he continues to talk about how his devotees are with him. It is very, very sweet, and the commentaries are very sweet. So let's sing the verse together and let's get to it. Machita pramad mag magda ta prana. Machita magda. The prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayanta shamam netyam tushanti charamanti cha. What he's saying is, the thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me. My pure devotees are always thinking of me. Their lives are fully devoted to my service, and they derive great satisfaction and bliss from on, always enlightening one another and conversing about me. um so yeah um, <laughs> he's saying that uh, my pure devotees are always thinking of me always wanting to do things of me always talking about me and uh, okay so the commentary here prabhupad says their talks are solely on transcendental subjects that that's a symptom of pure devotees they are 24 hours daily engaged in glorifying qualities and pastimes of god their hearts are and souls are constantly submerged in krishna i love this phrase submerged in krishna and they take pleasure in discussing him with other devotees and then he talks about lord chaitanya saying that it's like sowing a seed devotional service and if it's sowed in the heart the seed fructifies and uh, with regular watering it grows and grows it penetrates the covering of the material universe enters into brahma jyoti and then enters into golok vrindavan ultimately uh, resting under the lotus feet of krishna and rests there under the lotus feet of krishna that's called the bhakti lata beej and it's there uh, in chatanya charitamrit madhya leela chapter 19 i want to read that now <laughs> um so when the complete plant takes shelter under the lotus feet one becomes fully absorbed in the love of god and he cannot even live for a moment without being in contact with god just as a fish cannot live without water it's just constantly constantly needing god i want to get to that so bad wow um okay so 10 9 is uh, uh sorry the swami mukandanand he's saying um, the nature of the mind is to so he says it in a different way which is also very nice nature of the mind is to become absorbed in what it likes the most right so he gives the same fish uh, needs water so the what is most dear to people's heart can be determined by where they dedicate it right where your treasure is there your heart will be also that's where the that's what the bible says so if they are spending money on fancy cars that's where their heart is if they are spending on holidays that's what's dear to them if they are donating to charity that's what uh, absorbs their attention the parents will always focus on or will focus on children because that's where their attention is likewise devotees dedicate themselves to god mad gata prana prana my devotees surrender their lives to me so from such surrender okay now this is very sweet from such surrender comes contentment such devotees offer the results of their activities to their lord and they see every situation as coming from him they accept both positive and negative they, they give give the results to god they don't care about whether it's hot cold i i can't even imagine like pain joy whatever nothing matters right it's just god that's all and they re- remain equipped poised in both um no there was something else that was very sweet this was not the sweet part okay while the devotees love for god is displayed in the form it also manifests on their le- uh, lips they are always talking about god glories of god engaging in kirtanam shravanam and uh, shravanam kirtanam smaranam basically hearing uh, speaking or chanting or uh, chanting japa like or chanting kirtan like singing or just speaking about god so speaking basically using the tongue is kirtan shravana is using the ears so this using the tongue can be in terms of like the chanting hari krishna hari krishna like that or singing hari hari krishna hari krishna or speaking about god so all three are part of kirtan and smarana is remembering so even when people are sleeping they are remembering god constantly and that maha mantra or whatever mantra you are chanting like premanand maharaj says you can chant anything you can chant radha 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 krishna 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 so anything but if you if that's going on in your head even while you are sleeping all the time basically non stop then that's smarana i mean smarana means remembering non stop is nirantar smarana like non stop smarana and remembering um 
yeah so yeah okay so that's it so this one is uh, he talk this verse he's talking about how his devotees worship him in the next one how he responds to their devotional activities that's so nice so where was that very sweet thing uh, devotion. I want to. Ha! Huh, this one. Okay. So devotees of the Lord become absorbed in remembering Him because they develop deep adoration for Him. For some reason, I'm finding this little phrase very, very, very sweet. They develop deep adoration for Him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, it's love. It's not like, oh my God, you're so great, like that kind of thing. It's just, it's love. This d deep adoration brings in the feeling of love. Okay, um, that's it for this uh, verse. We'll do chapter 10, verse 10 in the next video. Wish you a day filled with lots and lots and lots of spiritual growth. Rade, rade.